G'day, I'm Shadowbeat, the Crocodile Hunter, and a lot of people have been asking me, Hey Shadowbeat, when's your next Crocodile Hunter special coming out? Well, I don't know if you're aware, but if you saw in my last episode, I was in a fucking plane crash. So I've been in the hospital recovering for the past four months, but it's alright. Because I've used that insurance money to buy this sweet new Lamborghini that you see behind me. What are you doing next to my car? Right. Anyway, today I have a very special guest with me. The guy who made my intro and fellow Australian, Benvelope. Say hi, Benvelope. Hey man, how's it going? Wait, I, I thought you said you were Australian. I am. But you don't sound anything like the guy in the Outback Steakhouse commercials. Oh, that's just a stereotype they use to suck in more Americans. Uh huh. Unfortunately, Benvelope's not going to be able to join us today after all. Uh, he said he had some urgent business to take care of at home. Something about his toilet water spinning the wrong way when he flushed, I don't know. But that's a real shame. We could have used the extra hand. Because today we are going after the beast known as Nobody Epic. Or scientifically speaking, the most epic is guy is ever is. Yes. I had the honor and privilege of meeting this guy at Pexies last year in Boston. And I measured him while he slept. And he came in at a whopping three and a half inches. Oh, no, wait, no, that was the other thing that I measured. He stands at a whopping 13 feet 7 inches tall, which is how many meters, Benvelo? No one cares. Exactly. So, right, Nobody Epic's natural habitat is the mountain range that you see behind me. Why? Because he likes to be around things that are as tall as he is. So I'm going to shut the camera off. We are going to probably rob one of these people of their cars because that asshole stole mine that he thought was his. And I will meet you guys there. Get out of the fucking cars, you asshole! <sighs> Alright. I had to ditch the car a while back. Uh, it just... It just wasn't built to cross such... Such treacherous terrain. But, uh... Luckily... I am in tip-top... Physical shape. Oh. Uh. Hold on a minute. Let me just catch my breath. <sighs> Alright. I think I'm good now. But yeah, I think we've managed to locate the house of Nobody Epic. Yeah, right here. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Legend has it that he built this with his own two hands. Ow. Legend has it that he built this with his own two hands. Man. What a what what an absolutely majestic be warned security cameras Oh shit All right I managed to find a spot where there's absolutely no security cameras anywhere which is perfect for this operation because the element of surprise is my favorite element on the periodic table and I'm pretty sure I'm trespassing but anyway what I have in my hand are proximity mines and how these work is as soon as somebody gets close enough they detonate, and I'm going to plant them inside Nobody Epic's house, completely hidden so nobody will see them. Then, I'll convince him to go inside, and that'll blow him to smithereens. Alright, all the explosives are in place. Now all we have to do is wait for Nobody Epic to come home, walk through the door, and it's going to explode. It's going to be freaking awesome on so many hey, levels. Hey, I'm here. What do you want? Oh. Uh, hey there, nobody epic. Well, don't you want to go in your house? No, that's not my house. I don't want to go inside of there. What are you talking about? Of course it's your house. You, you dropped your wallet in there, mate. Yeah, I saw you put explosives all around the door. It sounds like R2-D2 is about fucking a vacuum. They're beeping. It does not sound like that at, at all. I don't understand. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh... The fuck?
Oh, wait, my friends are stupid. I'm leaving. Bye. Well, unfortunately, we did not get the carcass of nobody epic this time. But that's all right. Sometimes in this line of work, you just meet a creature that gets the better of you. But rest assured, nobody epic, next time we meet, I will have your head, and I will hang it on my bathroom door. I can promise you that. But until next time, I am Shadow Bates, the Crocodile Hunter, signing off.